We are on the threshold of large-scale tectonic shifts on our planet. Every word I speak today concerns you personally and your future. Within just four years, we may begin seeing earthquakes every two to three days across the globe, each comparable in magnitude to the devastating events in Turkey or Myanmar. At present, this plume is actively ascending in the very region where, just 250 million years ago, a massive eruption of the Siberian traps took place. We will also explain practical solutions that even today can help mitigate the escalation of natural disasters. In particular, I will speak about the unique technologies. I believe that among us are still many who are ready not only to watch and listen, but to think, comprehend, and share this knowledge with others. I understand that we live in an era where our focus is splintered by fleeting videos and ever-changing images. But what I want to share with you cannot be grasped in passing. It requires reflection, analysis, and deep understanding. Why do I consider this one of the most urgent issues of our time? Because we are on the verge of enormous catastrophes. My primary goal today is to reach those of sound mind in the hope that humanity will suffer as little as possible. It is essentially to understand that the earthquakes occurring today are incomparable in their danger to any that have taken place in the history of our civilization. Previously, major seismic events were isolated. Today, however, we are witnessing a clearly defined trend of exponential growth. Nearly six months ago, at the United Nations Biodiversity Conference, COP16, in Colombia, I spoke openly about this alarming trend. Even then, in October 2024, I pointed out that daily occurrences of magnitude 5.0 earthquakes had become commonplace. For the past six months, there has been a steady increase in earthquakes of magnitude 6.0 and above. And another six months have now passed. You can confirm the increase in magnitude 6.0 plus earthquakes yourself. Simply install a seismic monitoring app on your phone and check it regularly. You will see that earthquakes above magnitude 6.0 now occur every other day. Seismic services are too slow in aggregating annual global data, so your own observations may prove even more telling. Look at the chart showing the number of earthquakes with a magnitude of 5.0 and above by year, based on data from the International Seismological Center, ISC. Do you see that clear exponential curve? It is important to emphasize that the increase in magnitude 5.0 plus earthquakes is not the result of expanded sensor networks or heightened detector sensitivity. It genuinely reflects a shift in Earth's geodynamic behavior. Now, take a look at the chart showing the number of earthquakes with a magnitude of 7.0 and above, using data from the same ISC database. Do you see how both charts reflect a synchronous rise in the number of earthquakes? This trend indicates that within just four years, we may begin seeing earthquakes every two to three days across the globe, each comparable in magnitude to the devastating events in Turkey or Myanmar. Given the accelerating frequency and intensity of these earthquakes, this disaster will soon reach every one of us, including you, your family, and your loved ones. At any moment, even now, as you watch this video, this tragedy could strike you or me. This is the reality we now live in. The underlying cause of the increasing number of cataclysms on our planet is an astronomical cycle driven by external cosmic influence that affects not only Earth's core, but also the cores of other planets in the solar system. This external influence, in essence, 
serves as an additional energy input that intensely heats the core, accelerates mantle melting, and leads to the upward movement of molten magma toward the surface. This initiates a chain reaction. Internal heating intensifies, volcanic and seismic activity increases, and natural disasters begin to escalate across the globe. Historical records from geological strata and ice cores indicate that Earth has encountered similar catastrophic cycles every 12,000 years. Every second cycle, roughly every 24,000 years, ushers in even more severe planetary cataclysms. Earth is now entering precisely such an intensified cycle. Exacerbating the situation is ocean pollution by nano and microplastics, which impairs the ocean's ability to dissipate heat from lithospheric plates, plates that are overheating due to the rising magna beneath them. The ongoing rise in anomalous seismic activity on Earth is also due to the fact that no controlled degassing of the Siberian magma plume has yet been carried out. For those who may have missed my earlier addresses, let me once again explain what this is. The Siberian magma plume is a powerful stream of superheated magma rising from deep within the Earth toward the crust. At present, this plume is actively ascending in the very region where, just 250 million years ago, a massive eruption of the Siberian traps took place, an event that triggered the Great Permian Extinction, one of the most significant extinction events in the planet's history. Preliminary estimates indicate that the area affected by magma flows beneath Siberia may span 2,500 to 3,000 kilometers in diameter, an expanse comparable in size to the Australian continent. At this moment, the magma plume is in a critical stage. It has already begun to uplift the tectonic plate above it, evidenced by increased seismic activity along its margins. This points to the possibility that the magma plume could breach the surface at any time. For more detailed information, I encourage you to consult the report entitled On the Threat of a Magma Plume Eruption in Siberia and Strategies for Addressing the Issue, which was also prepared by a team of scientists, experts, and volunteers from Alatra. And that is why it is absolutely imperative to act without delay. This is the critical moment right now when humanity still has a chance to make the decision to carry out the planned degassing of the Siberian magma plume. If we begin the process in a timely manner and can, as a civilization, endure the critical 20-year phase of the catastrophic cycle, then we will secure at least 250 million years of planetary safety. You do care about your life. You do care about the chance for you and your children to survive. If you believe your life has value, then do not remain silent. Do not shift responsibility onto politicians, whom you assume are ones who should resolve the planetary threat. As long as you do nothing, they too will do nothing, because they are not different from you. They will not act on what society does not demand. That is why as long as you remain silent, they too will remain inactive. But today, while we still have a chance, your voice, your action, and your contribution are invaluable. It carries decisive weight. Everything we warned about years ago is happening right this moment. But there is still a chance, not merely to win a few more years, but potentially millions of years of life on this planet. This is not a metaphor, it's a calculation. 